We're heading out to the best game of Wednesday night's slate. It's number two, Gonzaga, heading to Austin to take on number 11, Texas. The Moody Center is going to be a rowdy place, and they're going to be celebrating for good reason here. I love Texas in this spot. Marcus Carr and Timmy Allen return as the main ball handlers and shot creators for this Longhorns offense, and it's an offense that's predicated on their athleticism and attacking the rim. They aren't a three-point shooting team. They love to crash the boards and create second chance opportunities and are great defensively. They force a lot of turnovers. They're very athletic, and that's the perfect attack for Gonzaga. We saw against Michigan State, Gonzaga turned the ball over 18 times. They never turned the ball over 18 times last season, and they really struggled in the pick and roll and around the rim. They got into foul trouble very early. Chet Holmgren and Andrew Nemhard's absences were felt tremendously. They don't have a main ball handler. They also don't have that rim protection. They weren't able to guard Sissoko that much, and the Michigan State guards were able to slash and attack. That's exactly what Texas is going to do here. And Texas is the better team. They're the number one adjusted defensive efficiency team this season. They're very experienced. It's a perfect opportunity to fade the Zags. They are always an overvalued team. And especially in this spot as the number two team in the country, they're very vulnerable. They don't have their identity yet. Drew Timmy is amazing, yes. But after him, there's not much else as far as answers. Rasheer Bolton, he's been okay. They have Malachi Smith coming over from Chattanooga, proven scorer. Well, now he's getting the D1 Power 5 play that Texas's athleticism should be able to stunt him. It's just a perfect opportunity for Texas. They force turnovers, they attack the glass, they attack inside. Those are the three things you need to beat Gonzaga. And I love them here. The Longhorns on the money line. I snagged at minus 104, would back them all the way to about that minus 130 range, and would take them on the spread to minus three, to be honest. I don't see how Gonzaga is going to win this game. Most projections have this around minus three, minus four for Texas as decent sized favorites. And an Action Lab system, top 15 teams at home have a 57% win percentage against the spread and an 11% ROI. So I love the value we're getting here with the Longhorns. So that's going to be it for me. Hook em, baby.